Thank the Lord for another blessed day, another beautiful Friday morning it is, and I hope and pray all is well with everybody. And this is going to be the part two of uh, the Angry Black Man video I just did. And I uh, want to give a major shout out once again to my girl, I Rock. God bless you, I Rock. The beautiful I Rock. And PP Drawing, y'all two comments actually was so on point with what I was going to talk about in this second video. And you know what? Education is so important so important that's why i was talking about us being trying to be angry at everything you know speaking to us again black folks and you don't even know the history like i rock was just saying that so many youngsters don't even know the history pp drawing was saying the same thing our people gave their life they gave their life we got so many great examples i always look at dr martin luther king you know People, we couldn't even sit on the bus. We couldn't even eat in the same restaurants. We couldn't even drink out of the same water fountain. And where we at right now to have the freedom that we have, and all we do is cuss each other out and fight against each other and kill each other. It's just a damn right shame. And, and, and we don't even stay in school long enough to know anything. We will have a handgun in our hand before we pick up a book. We already know the streets before we would know how to even think about graduating. And when you sit up here and be angry, talk about the white man, it's you need to know what happened in history. We know history repeats itself. Just like the Bible teaches us about life, there's nothing new under the sun. And you, you need to quit walking around here complaining and, and, and the white man this and the white man that because, see, we have a choice. Like I Rock was just saying, we have a choice to choose right or wrong. Ain't nobody putting a gun to my head making me do nothing. And to walk around in ignorance. See, I learned to grow up. Everybody needs to be at a point in their life where they need to learn how to grow up. Because if you don't learn, see, the Bible told us, my people will perish for the lack of knowledge. Perish for the lack of knowledge. And it's sad that a lot of grown folks don't even want to, that didn't, didn't learn history, don't want to know nothing about history. And they walking around angry. It ain't just young folks. I see more and more older folks on the streets in the hoods. Teaching the youngsters how to do wrong. Teaching the youngsters to be mad at the white man. Teaching the youngsters how to shoot and kill. Teaching the youngsters how to sell dope. Telling them that it's okay to do all of these things because we did it. And then you got some telling them the right way. It's sad, man. Our people will perish for the lack of knowledge, that's everybody, not just black people. I don't care what color you are, you, don't, you will perish for the lack of knowledge. But this particular video, once again, I want to address us as black folks. We got a choice. Oh, man. People gave their life. Our people was tortured. They was raped. They was hung. They was beat up. You named it. I was looking at an old video that uh, Minister Farrakhan did when he was talking about in the South. How when the white man, if that white man came, knocked on that black man door and said, I want your daughter, that black man had to give his daughter up. And that white man could do whatever he want to your daughter. People, this is the stuff that we went through. And we want to sit here and, and keep on living in ignorance. I done seen so much in my life. Good God Almighty. And you would think that us as people would get better towards one another. But the more and more time go by, the worse we get toward one another. We keep on killing each other. I remember when Dr. Martin Luther King marched, man, there was so many people on one accord marching with Dr. King. Marching. All Dr. King was trying to do was make a difference. He wanted whites and blacks and Hispanics and everybody to come together. Said he had a dream mm, that one day, and look at to this day what we doing to each other. I have a dream also, but my dream seemed like it'll never come true. But I know one day I'm going to be on that other side. That's when my dream will come true because down here in this life right here, oh man, it's terrible. Because you got more and more corrupt people in this world. You want to walk around angry for what? Man, I'm going to tell you, I told y'all in the old video, when I, when I got laid off the third time, <laughs> See, I done, got, I done went through some things. I'm going to tell you, when you go through things, anything don't kill me going to make me stronger. When I was out here homeless, hmm, didn't have nowhere to go, but I had a job. 
Even though I didn't have nowhere to stay, I had got a job after I got laid off. And the most people that had my back was white folks. Couldn't get nothing from my own people. And you would think that all the people that you help in this life would have your back. I'm going to tell you something. Find, get, on, get to your lowest and see who's going to really have your back. I guarantee you. People be talking about the white man. The white man, oh, I don't See, I'm not prejudiced. I'm just using the term white man, but I love everybody. I don't see no color. They had my back. Not the black people. The white folks had my back. Even gave me vehicles to drive. They trusted me. Gave me keys to the warehouse while I work. They trusted me. They gave me keys to any vehicle that I was driving because I used to drive for a living. They trusted me. I couldn't get that from my own family if I needed it. Hmm. When I was down and out, I, I asked a lot of folks to help me. And I, hey, I had to, I said, good God Almighty. And we walk around and talk about the white people. The white folks had my back. They didn't see no color. Hmm. Did so much for me, I can't even explain. That Lincoln, that, that Lincoln Town car that I drive outside, I still got it. I almost done had it about 10 years now. That came from a white man. I told y'all about the uh when I when I was when I was in my old truck and my truck caught on fire while I was in it and I had to jump out of it and leave it going. Got to work about that man, my boss man, the white man blessed me. Gave me a thousand dollars free of charge. Don't pay this back, JT. This is on us, and we're going to give you some more money. Find you a vehicle, and let's help you get a vehicle. Good God Almighty. And I got folks around the corner who wouldn't even give me a ride to work. I done walked long miles to work before. I done rode bicycles to work. We got a choice to get on the bus now, black folks, and sit anywhere we can on the bus, and we don't even look at that because a lot of us won't learn history. Good God Almighty. You don't want to know nothing about Rosa Parks. You don't want to know nothing about Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. See, I had to do a whole lot of research on Martin Luther King and Malcolm X because I had to play Martin Luther King in a play. But I already knew a lot about it because I listened in school. Even though they weren't teaching us right a whole lot in school because our black history was being taught by a white person who skipped over a lot of stuff. That's why... It ain't just the Bible you used to study to show yourself approved. You need to study history. You need to study a whole lot of stuff. God Almighty. That's what I like about my sister, Iraq. Iraq told me, you need to go study, research some more stuff. Love you, Iraq. Research some more stuff. Find out all you can. See, the problem with us is we don't want to read nothing. That's why we are so dumb on a lot of stuff. Ignorant because we don't want to read nothing. I, I tell people, even with preachers, I listen to preachers, but best believe I'm going to go home and see, hey, I need to see if this preacher was telling the truth. That is the number one problem with a lot of things in a lot of these churches. Folks won't study for themselves. They won't study for themselves. They depending on the preacher. We need to apply this Bible with our life. Black folks, stop walking around here in ignorance. Mad at the white man. And I know somebody going to get mad again for this video. But real talk, once again, I love white people. I love all people. White people had my back harder than a lot of black folks. Me and K-Ray was talking about this the other day. That's why God don't see no color. First of all, he's not a respected person. That's why I don't care about titles. You ain't got to call me Reverend Thompson. You ain't got to call me... Uh, Apostle this, minister that. I don't care about all that. I'm just a child of God who is striving to get to the kingdom and want others to go with me. I want to see all y'all in the kingdom. And it's sad that most folks are moving away from the kingdom. More and more church folks are steady getting into it with each other. We need to walk around here and stop getting mad at the white man. I'm going to say this once again. We keep talking about being mad at the white man, but look at what's going on, black folks. It's black on black. And it's not stopping. It's getting worse and worse. More black on black. Huh. It always makes me think of that letter, Willie Lynch, that Willie Lynch letter. Huh. Educated nigga versus dumb nigga. Huh. Old man versus young man. Light skinned woman versus dark skinned woman. I told y'all, I encourage anybody to read that letter. And I guarantee you, you're going to see some truth in that letter. If you ain't never read The Making of Willie Lynch, I, I guarantee you. 
It's not that long, people. Go read it, please. Please read it. You would understand why you see the independent black woman, why the black woman is always versus the black man. Good God Almighty. Ignorance. And we still want to live like that. We can make, like I rock say, we can make a difference. We don't have to make that letter true all the time, people. We don't have to make it true, period. We, we live just like that letter. Man, read the making of Willie Lynch if you think I'm lying. House nigga versus fear nigga. God Almighty. I wish we could just read, study. It don't take that long to study. Get off of John Madden the video game sometime and pick up, pick up something and read it. Get off of the block sometime and start trying to change your life and read. Study about history sometime. Stop gossiping all the time and start talking about something that's true. Guarantee you to help you live better. God bless everybody.